Right now, Detroit police are looking for a suspected child predator. Daryl Harris is facing two charges of sex crimes. The victim, an 11 year old girl. But there is outrage tonight from the victim's mother. She went to Detroit police more than 60 days ago. Sean Lay is live, and Sean, the delay in this case has the investigator in some hot water tonight. That's exactly right. And the key quote here from Detroit police tonight is, this should not have happened. A lead, uh, a key sex crimes investigator here choosing to go on vacation instead of finish up the warrant, the work in this case. And that has allowed this suspected child predator to remain free right now. Tonight, Detroit police are on the hunt for 50-year-old Daryl Harris. He's wanted for two counts of criminal sexual conduct against an 11-year-old girl. But Harris might be hard to find after a Detroit police sex crime investigator gave Harris a head start on hiding. The investigator had the case since December 1st. But tonight, the department admits she failed to finish writing up the warrant request for him, choosing to head on vacation instead. Erica Underwood is the 11 year old victim's mother. You know, because I question the police, you know, the longer that he's able to be out here, uh, you know, what if I am confronted by him? What if I see him? What lawfully am I supposed to do, you know, as a mother? Harris was Underwood's boyfriend until she discovered videos on his phone of Harris apparently removing the blankets off of her daughter as she slept. She went right to police. Her daughter was interviewed and said that Harris allegedly touched her on two occasions. And police assured this mom that she gave them everything to get a suspected child predator off the streets. After kids talk, uh, they went around a table and a detective on the case said that the warrant would be signed and they would be immediately looking for him. That didn't happen. Weeks went by. Underwood handed over even more evidence, like taped conversations with Harris, where apparent admissions were made. Just I came in, I was playing, I can't explain to myself. And only late Tuesday were charges approved, weeks after she first went to Detroit police 67 days ago. Who knows if he has struck again? You know, he could be striking right now as we speak if he is not in custody yet. Back here live, and we just checked, Harris remains at large, has not been picked up on these criminal sexual uh, conduct charges at all. Uh, meantime, an, an internal investigation now going on into uh, the sex crimes detective's actions here, or lack of action, she could face discipline at the end of this, Karen. You know, as the mother mentioned, it makes you wonder, of course, could there be more victims out there? She very much fears that one of these incidences was at a, a sleepover that Harris himself was hosting. So the mom is also pushing not just for him to get picked up and face these charges, but for the other parents who took their girls to that sleepover to be contacted as well. All right. And of course, Detroit police obviously have to answer a long list of questions on how this happened and if it ever happened again. All right. Thank you, Sean.